Hi, good morning, and welcome to the ZP um, Vlog and Podcast. So we do this vlog and podcast every um, Sunday at um, 8 a.m. London time, and we do it just as a sort of way of really su- just summing up the news um, from ZP for this week. So um, the first thing I just want to touch upon um, this week is we do get a lot of inquiries, and I think this happens a lot in this sort of... Um, in part of the industry that we face, which is people want customized um, electrodes. And so, um, you know, we just put out a little note there this week to sort of say that it's not always necessary to, um, in fact, do customized electrodes. It's fairly, well, it's straightforward enough to actually just take a standard off the shelf electrode and for us to put sort of quality labels on them with a person's brand on it. So people have a big desire for customized electrodes problem with customized electrodes is all the kind of cost of quality um all the screens everything is is piled upon those customized electrodes and so unless you're in high volume those electrodes can end up being quite expensive whereas at zp we do have a um, a neat workflow where we can take an off-the-shelf electrode and we can very quickly rebrand it for people so be reluctant to necessarily just do customized electrodes and ZP does have a way of sort of dealing with that sort of customization. Um, also, I mean, we do have a lot of interactions um, in the city of Swansea and at the university and we will be vis- visiting around the 30th of June um, for a talk there. And so we just put out a little note ahead of time to say, look, we will be in Swansea and if people want to talk with us, um, please feel to f- um, reach out with us. We obviously have um, a very excellent distributor in France. They're um, called Madelex. Um, so th- uh, I just put out a little note this week. We we put out ra- a note rather to say, you know, that um, ZP is represented in France by um, a French speaking company called Madelex. Um, the head of the company is a partic- is an electrochemist, which really helps because a lot of the technologies that we do at ZP. Um, have um, electrochemistry at the heart of them. So um, just a quick note. And I'll, I'll already mention Mad, Madelex um, in a short while as well. Um, at Zimmer and Peacock, we also have our um, food sense um, products. So our food sense products are for the detection of analytes um, in food, and we use it for measuring like quality. Um, now, one of the biggest... Um, analytes or most popular analytes that we actually analyze is actually um, chili so we have a way of um, measuring the hotness of chili through um, a molecule called capsaicin and we just put a video out on tiktok this week just kind of discussing um, or showing how um, the food sense product works so that was just a little bit of fun um, let's say um, some other news from Zimmer people this week. We did have our ZP developers zone. So every sort of Thursday at um, 8 a.m. London time, we do have our ZP developers zone where we do have pretty thorough um, analysis or answering of people's questions. This week, we talked about the sensitivity of silver, silver chloride to pH. We talked about testing the easy flex with vinegar or sodium bicarbonate. We talked about the electrochemical measurement of CBD and THC, which are uh, cannabinoid, cannabinoid diols and tetrahydrocannabinoid diols. Um, these are the materials that um, are found in hemp. And we also talked about the customization of screen printed electrodes that I also have a philosophy that it's best avoided. And there are ways of branding products without necessarily having a completely customized product. And then we had a very interesting inquiry that's been going on for a little while about the lack of glucose response. And, you know, in the end, it came down to the fact that I think this the, the team that we're corresponding with is using a carbon electrode and an unmediated carbon electrode is not a good, that's a catalytic surface for um, measuring um, hydrogen peroxide. So if you want to make a glucose sensor and it's not necessarily working and you're probably a generation one glucose sensor then the material to use is platinum rather than um, carbon so we did sort of talk about that um, a bit something we also touched upon this week and we put a little um, note out um, on the website 
um, was also the um, sensitivity of um, silver silver chloride electrodes so silver silver chloride electrodes um, shouldn't necessarily be sensitive to pH and we did put um, some notes out there this week to, to we, we put some notes out there this week to, to display um, that fact that in fact you know um, silver silver chloride electrodes are not um, pH sensitive um, also a big thank you to um, our um, RAQA team this week um, at Zimmer and Peacock we are an ISO 13485 business and we've been um, moving much more of our customers and our processes onto ISO 13485 and as part of that now we're able to offer um, consulting in the area of RAQA so our team in um, Norway has been sort of going about promoting the fact that at ZP we are a ISO 13485 business and we are able to offer consulting um, to other people around our capabilities of um, RAQA. Um, so we went to a couple of conferences this week and um, thank you to the um, ZP team who um, went there, represented us and talked about our capabilities, not just in biosensing, but also our capabilities in advising other people on their sort of um, quality um, road. We also um, mentioned Grenoble, sorry, we mentioned uh, Madalex earlier on. We're also going to be exhibiting with Madalex at something called Medfit um, in Grenoble in 2022 on the 20th and 21st of September. Um, and so that should be um, an interesting conference around the med tech industry and um, ZP is happy to be going there. Um, finally, um, I say finally, I do actually have some extra notes as well. Um, something that people are very interested in is um, a couple of um, enzymes called um, alanine aminotransferase and aspartate aminotransferase. Um, these enzymes, if you ever have a blood test done at a hospital, they'll often have things like sodium, potassium, glucose, pH, but you'll see AST and ALT also on that, um, on the test report. And so these things are um, routinely measured in hospitals as part of blood testing. And so we did touch upon that in our, um, we did touch about that in our talks um, or in our notes um, this week. Now, something that's slightly off um, topic was, and we'd also had some um, conversations um, around um, oxygen and um, lactate sensors. So we had we had an inquirer. Um, they sent us some images of some products they had, and the images show that they have an oxygen sensor and they also have a um, lactate sensor. Now, what's interesting is I can see um, from these sensors that they have a couple of pins. Um, the first thing to say is they're a bit concerned that these sensors are just one electrode, they're actually two electrodes. And um, what they're actually looking at is a um, a platinum electrode that's been functionalized. It's then insulated and then there's a reference electrode that's um, wrapped around that. So it's essentially two concentric wires. Um, both of these concentric wires need to be in wet contact with a sample um, for this to actually work. So if I um, if you're watching online at the moment, then there's a tip here which contains both a it's really a combined counter and reference so it's just one electrode and then there's another wire that essentially comes out the middle of it which is the um, working electrode which has been functionalized so it is two electrodes so that's this sort of proximal or sensing end there's also a distal end where there's like just a couple of prongs these couple of prongs are making electrical contact so when I look at the images that have been sent, um, I see the sensors, and there are two electrodes on those sensors, and I see the uh, instrument itself. Now the instrument itself has a um, a connector on it, a circular connector. It has five holes in that connector, so it's a five-pin LIMO connector. What I don't see in the photographs that's been sent to us is a special cable that will work with a LIMO 5-pin um, and has a special sort of 
plastic part um, that will connect with the sensors itself. So I feel like something's missing from the box. Um, so the box itself, um, I can see you've got the sensors in there. There is a working and auxiliary electrode on you have, and that that is a what we call a sort of LM5 cable, a Limo 5 pin connector, and then it should have another plastic piece on the end. I think it's like a Molex connector that connects into your actual um, sensor. I think those are, are potentially missing from the box, and I will cover this in greater detail um, in our webinar on Thursday at 8 a.m. London time. There's no need to watch these um, webinars. Um, we definitely leave them recorded and people can catch up with them later on. So I think I should just do a quick summary back now as well. So if I was to kind of um, go in reverse order, we've talked about that um, ZP's put some notes out about AST and ALT. These are two um, enzymes that often appear in hospital blood testing. Um, they're actually linked to kidney function. So if they're raised, then there's, there could be issues with the kidneys. We talked about Madelex twice this week, and we will be um, exhibiting with Madelex in Grenoble. So if you are in the Grenoble area, you can catch us um, on the 20th and 21st of um, February. Um, we did touch upon our RAQA, our Regulatory Authority and Quality Assurance um, Services. So being and doing ISO 13485 day in, day out, we know about um, FDA approval and C marking. So we're all able to offer that now as a service. Um, we put a technical note out this week about testing, um, or rather that silver silver chloride electrodes are not pH sensitive. And so they could be used in, um, potentially used in um, applications where pH is a variable. We talked about CBD and THC. These are two materials found in hemp and people want to be able to test them. Um, so we did put some um, notes out about that. We talked about our food scents this week and you know testing chilies. Also that we will be in Swansea on the 30th of June. So if people want to meet with us there, we'd be delighted. And lastly, um, people do want to have branded screen printed electrodes. And at ZP, we do have a low cost way of accomplishing this without having specialized custom um, work. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, any questions, reach out to us at Zimmer Peacock.